Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on Minecraft 1.18. You just saw me go through the process of building this world, and I already start with lag. I turned on some things to make it more enjoyable for me to play. One, I did the chest, and two, I made it so that I can't lose my inventory when I die. Those two things really caused the game to be unpleasant for me. And I'll show you the seed, just in case you missed it when it went by. Either way, I'm going to take the chest and the torches with me. And I've already picked out a place for my new base. Or my starter base. I figured out that I don't like the dark, so why not build it next to a lava pool gives me great fuel and should keep it lit up enough that uh, mobs won't spawn spawn anywhere near me there's the first lava pool we'll move a little further and there's the lava pool I want to build next to relatively easy to find and I'm going to clear some wood. Oh, and look at that. Wow. The trees that Minecraft placed here next to the lava are now burning. I'm going to let them burn. I don't need to waste my time trying to put out the fire. Just let the trees that are too close burn off. Now I need to figure out what I want to do next, and let's start with a workbench. And then I'm going to go over here and place it about right there. I know it's an arbitrary start. But I need a shovel. And now let's dig this out. I think it's time for a time lapse. There's a lot of things I need to do. Dig out this area and start digging mine. While doing that, I need to get iron, not to get killed, and collect all the other resources along the way. But I can't collect a lot of the valuable ores without an iron pickaxe. So iron is at the top of the list. First thing I need to do is make iron buckets for lava as fuel for the furnace, and of course, armor soon to be followed by enchantment table. I even know where on the mountain I plan to build my permanent base, but that will all come later. I want to personally thank any of you who are still around and watching. Some of you reached out to me over the last year just to make sure COVID had not got me and to check if I was alive and well. That was amazing. I have not created content for YouTube since September 16th, 2020. I was in between jobs and COVID made it even harder. I really appreciate my viewers and I currently do have a great job in IT that allows me to work from home and get back to making YouTube content. Hey, we got our first iron. It came out of the furnace. Now we can make something. I need to go chop down more trees so the axe will work just nicely. And here we go. Welcome back. We are back to digging a mine shaft. Still going down. But it looks like we've opened up into something that is more interesting at least. We found something new. Let me clear
clear off these blocks to make this opening a little bigger. There we go. And let's there be light. So I'm going to do this so that we both can see who's coming and from where. And you get an you get to see what this hole in the ground looks like. Uh, uh. What was that? I hate little zombies. Uh, you know, I need armor. At least it would slow this down, because I'm actually not wearing any armor because I haven't found enough iron yet. So, we'll just have to press respawn and go back to where we started, which I believe will put me at spawn. <sighs> I want to kill something. Die. And now that gets me some food. And I'm going to now make my way over to the temporary base that I have set up by the lava pools. There's the first lava pool. Trying to clear out line of sight so some things are easier to see. It's because from here, I started putting torches kind of in a row where I could find my way home. Skeleton, I am totally going to sneak up on the skeleton and not get killed. Skeleton. Sneak up to it. Yeah! In the back. That's the way to do it. Now let's get back on the torch line. And I run out of torches, so let me continue the path that I was making with torches. really makes it easier to follow, especially at night time. I do plan to put a road or something more beneficial in eventually. It'll keep me busy for a while. And here we come up soon on I think I know where I'm at we're gonna find the base the lava and hey there it is and I ran out of ran out of torches right then and there so fantastic I need to get some more torches and then get back down to the bottom where I can do more exploring. And I'm thinking, thinking that the little zombie will have despawned. Torches. I just said torches. I need. There we go. go light this place up not a lot of detours on the sides and this is well lit mobs only spawn in darkness now so that helps a lot 
That's why I want it to be by lava. It puts out enough light that your darkness is pretty far away. Oh, look at that. Glowing ink. That's a new feature too. It looks like uh, that water source there is going to be very useful since it will allow the glowing squids to form. Why did it give me boats? That's just weird. But now it'll allow, it'll allow uh, the glowing squids to form and they'll die in the shallow water and well, there's another one. I can just pick them up and we'll be good to go. Won't get a lot. It's not a it's not really a factor or anything, but it'll get me the glowing, which is I really like it. I want to use it a lot. Maybe I can think of a way to turn this into a farm. Iron, more iron. Oh my god, those creepers! Escape, but not too far. And that works. They're blown up. I took a lot of damage. Half damage. But now, they are gone. And I can go back and collect, pick up the stuff. Now, I know that was a risky move, because I don't even have armor on. So, I'm going to be placing torches and finding iron. I'm gonna get it from as many places as I can and look at this. See you in a few. Okay, well, we are done with that for a while. Gathering resources, I need to put them all in this chest. We've got tons of iron and a lot of other rocks. So we'll be able to get some stuff done. Welcome back, and as you can see, I now have armor, and I have rearranged this location and built some walls. What I really want to do now is go and show you where my permanent base location will be. And this is the future location of my base. It's not much to look at right now, but most of you know I'll clean it up. If, by the way, you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so that you can be notified of future content. I still need to build a staircase that leads down to the bottom of this mountain. It's difficult to get up here right now. And yes, I put lava buckets on top of the trees. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside. It's obviously dark and I need to light this place up. Just don't ask why I put lava at that spot. There is no good reason. Let's go light this place up. And that's to show that I can kill things on occasion. I would like to pick up this string and what you're seeing here is an inventory nightmare. And yes, I realize I threw away a bucket to get some string. I promise I will come back and pick this up before it despawns. Right now, I'm going to go around and continue lighting up the place. Once I've made some significant progress, I will come back. And I'll see you then. Welcome back, and this is what it looks like when it's all lit up. I gotta tell you, I'm not fond of having torches everywhere, so I will come up with a hidden light so that it looks better. But for now, this is it, and this will give us space to work. You may have noticed some differences in the way this video went today. One of the reasons was I actually 
am using a new editor, Filmora. So let me know what you think if you like the changes. Either way, please subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. And I'll always click on the bell for future content. So everyone have a good day and goodbye. You know, I really don't think I actually picked up that bucket. <laughs>